Hi everyone, this is the video series where we develop a forum product or forum software. In the previous episode, we styled the about page and made it more appealing to look at, or at the very least, easier to read. In this episode, we're going to style this contact page, make it more user friendly, and easier to look at also. But before we get started on that, make sure you head over to either patreon.com or subscribestar.com and uh, support my work. I am working on some incentives for supporting my work. Right now, it's a Discord channel, which will allow you to talk to me, and each tier has a higher level of support you can get from me, and I'll be more specific about that later. But let's go ahead and get started. First, just because it's the easiest and I want to get it out of the way, we're going to go ahead and style this logo. And to do that, we're going to go to a website, or we're going to look for a website called Google Fonts, which is at fonts.google.com. And we're going to find a font that looks good. I'll use Crub. So in order to use this, we'll click that plus symbol. It'll bring this down here. And then we'll take this link and we'll put it right above this style sheet here that we're using to style the rest of the website. And let's go ahead and do it for all the other pages while we're still thinking about it. OK, now that we've done that, uh, let's see, in order to use this, the font family is crub, so let's come back here, let's go to our logo, and we'll change the font family to crub. And the reason you specify more than one family here is not all operating systems have the same fonts. Like uh, Mac OS has different fonts than Windows, and uh, Windows has different fonts than Linux. However, they do share some similar fonts. And this sans serif is actually just a uh, particular family of fonts, which it'll it'll the operating system will pick it by default. But let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Huh. That's not bad, but I want something that stands out more. Okay, now I think I found one I really like. It's uh, called... Pacifico. It's a cursive font. So let's come back here to this link and get rid of all the fonts we don't need. If you don't do this, it could increase the load time or the time it takes to load the page. It also makes it cleaner and easier to look at. And make sure you update the other links also in all the other pages. Okay, next what we want to do is uh, give this a class of page title. Okay. And you, you can see why classes are super convenient now. And next we want to put these two sections on the same line. And then we want to, hmm, oh, I don't like how this is overflowing, so let me do something real quick. Okay, so I finally managed to fix it. Um, there was the stack overflow post which said uh, to set the image to max width 100% when using Flexbox, and this way the image won't overflow. That took me a while to find. Okay, but now it's looking like this. That looks a little bit better, but the form... Uh, I don't like these borders being around it anymore. So let's get rid of those, and let's make these legends bigger and put them at the top. Okay, and next what we'll do is go ahead and style these make it look, uh, I kind of like the way Bootstrap looks, so we'll kind of make it look like that. Okay, so that took a while. Looks like we have the inputs working properly now. Now let's style this button and make it, this button look nicer. Okay, so now this looks a little bit better, but I'd really like to see a real map instead of this fake image. So uh, let's go use Google Maps for this, and we're just going to do it a sim really simple way. Uh, Google Maps. And we're going to look for Washington, D.C. Better yet, the White House.
Okay, and now I want to come here to share, and we're going to go to embed map, and we're going to copy this HTML. Come back here, go back to the contact form, and replace this image with this uh, iframe. Iframe is a tag that lets you embed uh, other web pages into your site. Essentially, this will just load the web page for you. And let's see what it does. Okay, we have the interactive map, so let's go ahead and make this fit with the rest of the um, content. Okay, so now we have a map, and uh, oh, let me fix the address. I want to, that's too close to the map. Okay, so now we've styled our contact page. That's it for this episode. In the next episode, what we're going to do is style the profile pages. Once we've styled these profile pages, the episode after that will be about designing websites for mobile devices and then after that we'll start using JavaScript which I personally am looking forward to. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, criticisms, please feel free to get in touch with me. I hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you guys next time.